be rather an unenjoyable day weather-wise, isn't it, in the north today? Let me show you why. We've had those really strong and gusty winds which have caused a lot of problems and we've still got a couple more hours out to come. But also, we've got these bands of rain with hill snow seeking their way southwards as well. So quite unpleasant if you're travelling in the next few hours, particularly across parts of Wales, the Midlands and northern England and also the northeast of Scotland. We'll still see severe gales blowing here through the night. But elsewhere, hopefully, those strong and buffeting winds will start to ease and ice becomes the main focus of concern if you're traveling as well as some wintry showers mostly in the north but not exclusively and in fact we could have some wintry showers in southern areas to start the day perhaps across the moors and the mendips and the quantocks in the south and west but for many parts uh, a cold start will be scraping the ice off the cars there'll be some obviously ice to watch out for as well and more wintry showers interper interspersed with some sunshine it won't be as windy as it has been in the past 24 hours although for the far northeast of scotland still blowing a gale here so that'll exacerbate the chilly feel and we're into colder air all of us tomorrow and just notice this little weather system running along the south plenty of sunshine just the potential i suppose later on tomorrow that we could have a smattering of snow potentially over the uh, children's for example but it's a low risk at the moment it's a watching brief we're talking about a colder night again tomorrow night and again some wintry showers so icy with that risk of snow frostier in the south as well on saturday morning but the winds are easing so we could start to pick up some fog problems as well this weekend temperatures are not getting any higher in fact, we'll be struggling to get above freezing over the snowfields and by night those temperatures really will fall away. This is Sunday morning in the towns and cities in the countryside over the snowfields significantly colder so we're going to have some hard frosts as well this weekend but the payoff is that we'll see some wintry sunshine as well to enjoy not all seeing those snow showers but clearly that will be a risk and if you're planning to travel stay tuned to the forecast and we'll endeavour to keep you updated. Sophie. Helen thank you. A reminder of our